doing? It's me. Talk about fur hire. Oh, let's go. I love them. They're so cute. Yes, I am basic as fuck. Will I be making this deck in a week? Absolutely. We have two Raphael. He's going to be your great little negator for the whole field. We have Wiz that's going to play you into times, of course. We have the Bysteed uh, set up. We have two Magnum and one Druid. Absolutely great cards. You need something to summon out for like leak material shenanigans. There you go. We have Dinah. He's here to like fuck someone's up. We have Seal. Seal's fucking great. He lets you just return a for hire from your hand. So you have stuff for Raphael. You have Beat, your actual playmarker. We have Beat. He's your playmaker. Give him what he needs. Let him add things to your hand. You'll go off king. We have Ash Blossom. Great little cheap card now that the decks are the structure deck is out. Play them. You'll want him. Her. Ooh. We have Ghost Spell. If you're fighting against Tear, you might as well have a Ghost Spell or a DD Crow. I chose the cheaper one. Recon is here for on the off chance they actually have something set on their field. Maybe against a trap deck, I guess. I don't fucking know. We have Dampa. Dampa's fucking great. Play him. He lets you pop something on the field. That's great. Rex is your genuine starter. He literally just says, if I'm summoned at all, add a fur hire spell or trap to my hand. Oh, no way, bro. Don't do that to me, you little cute bastard. Philo fucking also does the same thing as Seal, but lets you special summon it if you want to. Effect Veiler is the another hand trap in your hand in your deck. You want that. You want hand traps. One for one, prosperity. If you don't want to do prosperity, it's the cheaper option, especially if this deck is is a hardcore budget deck. You can get rid of prosperity, put in small world. Two rookies. Also, what you're gonna get most of the time from Rex. Mayhem. Infinite Imperm. In the extra, we've got Zeus, Downward, and Gigantic Sprite. There are level twos in this deck. A good amount of them, fun fact. You will be making Sprite on occasion. Do it if you can. I'm gonna go into Top Logic Zero Boros. Access code. You can definitely pitch access code if you want to be a bit more budgetarian. This just makes it a little bit more competitively viable. Or just ways for you to have things for prosperity to pitch. Apoloza, great card for negations. If you can get her out, you can get her out. Fulgo. Fulgo just lets you draw equal to the amount of other fur hires. Fulgo just lets you draw three cards. Especially if you control three or more fur hires. He's so great. Nightmare Unicorn just lets you spin a card. You want that shit. Donna is what makes this deck playable. It chooses a monster on your field. You destroy it. And then you can special summon a fur hire. But if it's a link, you special summon two. We also have ferret. I don't know what the fuck this one does. Oh, you can special summon something with it. Okay. Bright Elf, great level two thing. IP, also great. Link Karibo. On the off chance, you need a Link Karibo. Yeah, Solomon Great, also great. Side, pretty basic. Nibiru, your spell and trap hate. And Fandora. I don't know what I could switch out Fandora from the main deck. It's really tight unless you want to just play 43 or something, but that's really stupid. This is just a great card. You should definitely play this deck. It's going to be such a great little rogue deck. I, it's definitely not going to win every game, but what the games it will win, it'll be great. Play it.